Yes, twins. But not ordinary twins. We're linked by cursed genes. Les Enfants Terribles. The Terrible Children. That's what the project was called. Yes, but whereas you got all the old man's dominant genes, I was stuck with the flawed recessive ones. Everything was done at my expense so that you could become the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist at all is so they could create you. Can you comprehend what it's like to know that you're genetic garbage since the day you were born? But, strangely enough, I'm the one Father chose. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior! But where are my manners? It would seem I've forgotten to introduce myself. Oh, wow. Seems these ruins have a little rat problem. Hmm. That was faster than I'd anticipated. You're going to die like the disgusting pig you are. A vexing problem, isn't it? If I am not mistaken, you are the elder brother of Inuyasha, Lord Seshomaru, are you not? I am someone who, like yourself, despises Inuyasha. Forgive me, but I happen to overhear your conversation just now. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Might I suggest that you employ this arm? Yes, clearly. This arm belonged to a mortal, but embedded in it is a shard of the sacred Shikon jewel. Should you choose to employ this arm, the jewel shard will enable you to wield the Tetsaiga, Inuyasha's fabled sword. The sword is known to work for the benefit of man. At present, a demon such as yourself would be unable to even touch the Tetsaiga. Yeah, my apologies. Call me Naraku. And once I'm in her mind, I can use my power of illusion to create whatever reality I choose. Jean. Jean. Shh, darling. You're safe. That's all that matters. But you're upset. You nearly drowned. Rest, my Venus. All is well now. You don't remember stowing aboard my ship, desperate to sail to America? It was a dream. Nothing more. Don't you remember how frightened you were when I found you? And I took you in my arms. Don't let those dreams of another life trouble you. Remember, my sweet, I will always be here when you wait. It was not enough. In my presence, she will succumb to my illusion despite her protector. Hurry, we must find her tonight. If you're planning on torturing me, you're only proving what I've been saying all along. You meta-humans are nothing but self-serving vigilantes. How do I know you didn't stage this whole event so that I'd be grateful to you? All right, all right. What should I do? Thank you. And I suppose I should apologize for my rude behavior. But you have to understand, a man in my position can't afford to trust anyone. Not really. There's a better way to do it. You cannot marry the son of our people's number one enemy. You'll govern your life exactly as I tell you. I am your father. You will show me respect, little lady. I want her locked in her room and kept under constant guard till further notice. And you're sure he was... Of course. Thank you. Isarina! Garma. Garma has been killed in action here. <laughs> Stupid, stinking punks don't even understand an order from their own goddamn boss. Do you want to know what will happen when your Don hears of this? He'll cut your scrawny little neck at... Listen here, son. I was just kidding. I wasn't going to call Cigar just yet. You're just, you're just a little off track, that's all. He wants money. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please, I'd really like to be alone now. Do not worry. I'm not going to kill you. I have 
other uses for you. <laughs> That's just great. We've got a unit down there starting to fry. Take Unbelievable! It it's insane! Have you the slightest idea what one of those units is worth, you stupid thing? Twice the gross national product of this whole country! <laughs> Nobody cares about the stinking schedule, is that clear? So you could just stop running this equipment into the ground? This project is scared! Accelerated, are you mad? Who gave that order? I certainly didn't. So we lost a few, huh? How many in all? Oh. My supervisor's gonna kill me! Listen, I'm the boss. See? And I order this project immediately terminated. You're uh, here! Got it! Take that it doesn't, endure. you hunk of junk! You're talking to me! A human being! You're superior! He's right! All the robots are still working! I can't stop them! Wait! I'll shut it down at the source! I'll terminate this project even if I have to destroy the whole thing to do it! This cannot be happening to me. The magic of the Pharaoh shields that a curse had brought. I cannot bring him to me. A living nightmare. Hecker, that's it. I have captured the dream, Hecker. A real, living nightmare. Now all I have to do is find a way to give this dream to Rapsis. And then the boy will be mine. Pathetic fools. Soon they won't even be able to save themselves. For this world, Echo. Those centuries I suffered, locked in that tomb. I didn't simply dream of escape. I dreamt of world domination. Soon enough, all our dreams will come true. It's sheer perfection. My precious G virus. No one will ever take you away from me. So you finally come. Sorry. But I won't just hand over my life's work. Xion, and a voice I've heard somewhere before. I'm Jin, Jin Uzuki. Pleased to meet you. So, you're both with Xion. Tell me, has my foolish sister been causing you trouble? Truly, you know, you don't have to be nice just because she's here. It appears I'm not very welcome here, am I? Uh, hey boss, I'll have what they're having, please. Extra spicy. I am listening. So, what were you saying? You know, you could have called me. I would have come to meet you. So, how long are you here anyway? Oh, he's right. Bad enough that your infantile addiction to this woman has consistently rendered you an unreliable business partner. But even now, as she conspires with others to have us killed, you continue to defend her. It shows that... that you are a weak man of no conviction and no honor. It's a nice offer, but no thanks. Besides, it looks a little crowded in there already. I don't need you. I like who I am. Go ahead and give it your best shot, Cell. You'll get your chance soon enough. Be patient. Impatience can be a sign of weakness. I doubt he will. But don't question Beryl's order. She hates me. Don't let him bother you, so so a sight. If Netflix actually finds it, which I doubt, we'll take it from him. Meanwhile, make sure Yasha watches him very carefully. They were reborn in humans who carry the crystals but have no memory of their former existence. Shh, don't be mad. Queen Beryl will see your anger as weakness. So a sight. You know there's no one more important to me in all the Negaverse. Now we just gotta find Elena and the director. <sighs> the other employees give you any leads? Who'd have thunk? A lot of Shinra's people actually return to work. Now that's dedication. I'm telling you, this could be a fresh start. Two years already. <laughs> Seems a lot longer than that. What a nightmare, huh? The world was nearly obliterated. And we were the obliterators. <clears throat> Seriously, though, how were we ever supposed to atone for that? Too bad the director's not around, you know? Hope they're alive. Looks like today we're clocking out early. Mother schmother. It's Genova's friggin' head. Your ma's cool. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> well, let's see. The last SOS went out a half an hour ago, so... 
We've probably got at least three hours, right? No sign of any nearby ships either. Right, Hammer? Master Guinan told us to stay away from any side jobs, remember? He said it hurts the Foundation's image. I don't know. Oh-ho! We got a wrecked ship here. Three o'clock. Looks like a Ganymede class. You got that right. We can always use some more women around here. How about it? Once we arrive, how about you and I get a suite and settle in with a nice bottle of wine? What? Hey! Yep, that's all there is to it. Bah, you owe Master Guinan too much. You'll never pay it all off. And man, the Seraphim sisters again? You're really hot for them, aren't you? Who are you kidding? It's all the same. Your brain can't tell the difference. All right, roger that. Call me Quicksilver. Like the outfit? Made it myself. Took about a quarter second. Well, would you look at this? Seems my old pal has a few tricks of his own. But as usual... Not as good as mine. Duh! Finally! Remember, Daniels, anything you can do, I can do better. Mind if I take that back? Kicks, man, for the challenge! Look, when you live as fast as I do, there ain't enough things to occupy my time. I gotta entertain myself. <laughs> and you thought you could stop me. Well, <gasps> wrong again. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. And who the heck are you? I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. What? But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. Then we'll talk after, but we will talk. Another city last week, another tech firm robbed, another stop on your tour. If I prove you're responsible, I will shut you down. Faraday, Interpol, new act? Probably clears you, but don't get too comfortable. Haley's going down for this. I'll be your contact for this assignment. I'm with Interpol. Name's Balrog. Hmm, says here you're Cammy White, formerly an agent of MI6 British Intelligence. You were specially trained as an anti-terrorist assassin. Some say the deadliest Britain's ever produced. But then you went solo, leaving MI6 for a life as a high-paid assassin for hire. They called it the Alcatraz of the Rockies. ADX Florence. The most secure prison facility in the United States. It housed 430 inmates, gang leaders, serial killers, mob bosses. The worst of the worst. And me. My name is John Edward Lord. Time magazine once called me the most hated man in America. At least I made the cover. Home at last. But not to rest. Journal entry 935. Today, I have won. Arcane and his unmen were defeated. Delbert and JT, I've won an even greater battle. I have turned their fear into friendship. But my greatest battle still lies ahead. I must find a cure to my own growth formula. Or remain trapped as a monster forever. So be it. If there is a way for me to return to human form, I must find it for myself. Meanwhile, Earth has its enemies. Still the same old charmer, aren't you, Hawkeye? Nice to see you haven't matured at all since you left S.H.I.E.L.D. I took your place on S.H.I.E.L.D.'s special ops team. Codename Mockingbird. I've come a long way since the days of driving you around. I heard you're going after Widow. I want in. She didn't just betray you, you know. She betrayed the whole team. The preliminary inquiry shall now begin. I am an agent working for Representative Helmer of the Second Milshan Parliament. He's also with us. We can go into detail later, but for now I'll just debrief you on the current situation. You are presently under the custody of the Federation government and the military. I'll be honest with you. The way things are now, within a few hours, She'll be turned over to anti-Milshan forces, specifically the UTIC organization. Soon after, the second Milshan government will be stripped of all its authority. 
At this moment, Representative Helmer is working with the leaders of the Milsham Parliament to buy us additional time. However, our opponent's skillful manipulation requires us to find concrete proof of your innocence. Shield Helicarrier, do you copy? This is Shield Orbital Station Distress Code 0221. I repeat, this is Agent Abigail Brand on the Shield. It wasn't a thing, Corbo. It was a man. A man called the Living. What are your demands? This isn't complicated. Do you want money? Power? Is this political? Who are you? Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me guess. You're here to steal my husband's G-Virus, aren't you? You are tenacious, I'll give you that. What? That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. We're wasting time. You twist an arm or two and I guarantee the girl will talk. If my military tactics had been used to begin with, Dola wouldn't have had a chance to interfere with us at all. Muska, just don't forget that the government put me in charge of finding Lapuna. Blast. I really hate that man. She's just a kid. Twist an arm or two and I guarantee that she'll talk. Huh. If the army had been dispatched at the very start, Dola would have had no chance to get at the girl. <laughs> Muska! You mustn't forget that I am in charge of finding Laputa! I really hate secret agents. Gentlemen, my devoted brothers in arms, beloved braves of the Aryan Socialist Union, I stand here before you filled with pride, for today we shall witness the creation of a brave new world! In one glorious stroke we will reclaim that which was lost to us as the result of meddling by the Zionists and Communists alike! True patriots are counting on you, brave soldiers! This is the utmost act of courage in the name of strict order and patriotism! You and you alone will be able to restore the racial hierarchy to the way it was meant to be! Krupenfeller! You have been chosen to fulfill this objective. A true hero, you represent the courage of the great Aryan race. There has never, there has never been a more glorious moment than this, and I, for one, I cannot find words to express this. I can only shed these tears of joy. Silence! You're hereby sentenced to death. Bring on the next victim. Silence! I've heard the evidence. I'm ready to give my verdict. In this court, I'm judge, jury, and executioner. <clears throat> I'm convinced you may go. Just her. As for you two, on the charge of breaking and entering possession of stolen property and just for not being attractive enough, I find you guilty. Let's consult the executioner. <laughs> what should we do? I don't know. Should we be lenient? Oh, I hate being lenient. Me too. You're hereby sentenced to death. Here's a little something I heard through the grapevine. That Swamp Thing fella's a real stick in the mud when it comes to the ladies. But I've always liked a challenge, darling. Just get me close enough, and there's no way he'll be able to resist my... allure. Swamp Thing, I think I love you. Don't be like that. You know I'm no garden variety girl. Hmm, this could take a while. I'll take it from here, Petal. Thanks for the help. Do I look like your girlfriend? My name is Maria. I don't look like a uh, ghost, do I? See? Feel how warm I am? I told you, I'm Maria. Where are you going? Didn't you say she died? <laughs> and that's here? Anyway. I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? The Lakeview Hotel? Yeah, it's still there. So, the hotel was your special place, huh? I'll bet it was. Aw, oh, don't get so mad. I was just joking. Anyway, it's not that way. It's this way. I apologize for keeping you waiting. I'll be in charge. I'm Sano. This isn't your first time, right? There's no need to worry. I'll be gentle. Mm. All right then. 
I'm just gonna take a little look under the hood, if you don't mind. <gasps> oh my, you have a fine body. You speak as if he had a choice. Surrender your will to me, Outlanders. Succumb to the power of vertigo. They will give you no further trouble. Well? Yes, yes, these are hard times. I can hardly keep the fire burning myself. Next! What is it? What do you mean? ka -ching. And we're all thrilled for your good fortune. Now, about your taxes. Well, let's fill out your tax forms and see. First, we total your income and calculate your deductions for the year. How many dependents? Include city, county, state, and federal taxes, including license fees. Oh, that takes you up into a whole new tax bracket. The king will be absolutely delighted. Here we are. Fantastic little place you got here, Liz. An honor to meet you, ma'am. Royal selfie. Ooh. Cheese steak. Uh, that's the first lady, ma'am. We're going to find a mate for her. Only problem is sourcing the right dog. We want only the best. The very best. All right then, Mitzi. Grab some puppy. The Ikey, Ikey. The, oh, industrious one. Have you heard the news? There's a man cub living with the wolves. Right in their den. Can, can you believe it? Why, why, if it were up to me, surely something must be done about it. Mm, hello, Bagheera. Did you hear? The wolf pack has taken a man cub into its den. How about that? D it's against the law. D Baloo, Baloo, do I have something to say? D hey, wolves! There are thieves amongst you. They... They have stolen a man cub from Shere Khan. This brings shame to the pack. Yeah. Man set a trap for Shere Khan, but he's too smart. <laughs> oh, too bad for the baby big nose. The vine climber, scampering around trees. What can he do to help you? He's crazy like the bander log. Well, my spies told me it just arrived at Advanced Auto's secret testing lab. I want it. Rhymes are wasting. I am a truth seer. When people lie, their heart rate and breathing increase. I can sense the most subtle of changes. So, what is not adding up exactly? Hong Lee was clearly lying, and we found evidence in his apartment. Perhaps through a relative, or maybe he was bribed. We will find out those answers in time. But if it wasn't him, who do you think it was? You don't think I had something to do with this, do you? And you think you found something, don't you? You have no idea what is coming for you, Avatar. Yes, that's fine. We can start now. I'm glad you came. Just turning up shows your commitment to the process. Good. I've read your notes. The other therapist didn't work out for you. I want you to know this will be different. We take this at your pace. No notes, no drugs, no theories. We go back to the start. Understand what happened. Take a look at this short form. I promise it's the only one you'll see during your therapy. Try to answer truthfully. It's easier that way. Never cheated on a partner, really? Okay, let's get started then. Good morning, students. I have a few important announcements. Please be on the lookout for a missing ultra pet responding to the name Wiggly. And please be aware that Spyset has picked up chatter indicating a possible attack on the school from unknown alien forces. All cadets are to be on high alert. Have a nice day. And I'm Principal Kirkpatrick, also with a K. Let me apologize for the lukewarm welcome. We're on high alert and weren't expecting any new cadets today. Just give me a moment to look you up in the system. Hmm. Well, that's odd. I don't have any record of you, Craig. Hmm. Oh, here you are. Guess my eyes were playing tricks on me. Hmm. Your credentials are very impressive. Excellent grades, remarkable athletic testing, and an accomplished artist to boot. I have no doubt you'll be a model cadet. It is not Minos who is to blame. I am at fault, Icarus. I worked for a tyrant, building weapons of war, used to destroy my own people. My desire for fame and glory has kept me from seeing that this was wrong. I brought all this upon myself, and upon you, my son. No! The Minotaur will find you first. We cannot escape. We must 
accept our fate? Athena, help me. I beg of you. Athena, forgive me. I was wrong to ignore your advice. If you help us escape, I will never desert you again. Icarus. Icarus! What is it, Father? I have a plan. We can escape after all. You are right, son. We cannot escape by land or sea, so we will escape <laughs> by air. I have the ability to see into people's minds. Oh, don't worry, child. I don't use my gift recklessly. I think you'll find my X-Men a very pleasant group once you get to know them, Miss Pride. Maybe Gotham's all I deserve now. Maybe it's just my time in hell. He's got a Green Beret's training. He knows how to use his size, too. Don't do a damn thing. Be sure of your facts before you bring down another cop. Just watch him. Memorize every move. For future reference. It's been years since I had to take out a Green Beret. Even so, he deserves a handicap. Go find your own war, Brendan. I'll take it from here. I hate the job. I hate the gun. But I keep practicing. How did I let this happen? To bring an innocent child to life. In a city without hope. <sighs> the Oracle was finally leading me to the ultimate truth. Telling me why the Matrix reformatted us into these technorganic bodies. <sighs> I was almost there. Until you came barging in. If I'm ever to get to the heart of our quest, then it is vital that you leave me alone. No matter what you hear. You're still ruled by emotions. That's not very technologically pure, is it? You can feel the anger rising in you. You're just about ready to explode! We did it, Alec. The progress of medical science, much like the construction of a great cathedral, is the work of many hands. And I withhold my exultation until the treatment is proved effective. Yes, of course. <clears throat> Good day, Carly. Dr. Bolson and I have been working on this treatment for a long time. We are very hopeful. Yes, of course. What the... Alec, shut the door. It's all right. I'm here. Hang on. It's all right. Alec, get her out of here quickly. Yes, I am. Perhaps you self-appointed social engineers don't realize the crucial role mutation plays in species evolution. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Your anger at the inexorable alienation of late 20th century life is sadly misdirected. I know the door you speak of. It was buried months ago during an earthquake. They're mindless carnivorous insects. They breed at a highly accelerated rate. Unchecked, they could overrun the entire island in a matter of months. Gambit. The Circe grow to the size of a man, and they can crush rock with their mandibles. Nothing at all. It's as if even the atoms are at rest. Retrieving Little Master. Open Cargo Bay 6. It's very slight, but I'm getting a reaction from the primer. No question about it. Bruce? Are you okay? You're not alone, Bruce. Not anymore. How can I thank you? You've done so much for us. I hope this will convince those pirates to give up. I'm afraid to think what might happen if they get their hands on the treasure. The legends say a horrible disaster will occur if it's ever unearthed. <sighs> Even if that's just a myth, lately we've been detecting increased activity underground. The Reaver bots are apparently activating of their own accord. It has me concerned. Maybe there's some truth to those stories about a horrible disaster? I wonder. Mega Man, would you be willing to explore the caves and dungeons on the island and see if you can find anything? You will? Oh, thank you so much. Here, you'll need this. Well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing, so long as it hurts Shinra. So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. 
That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Uh, Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Just say, mayor, to the guy. And if he goes, the best, with gusto, then you found your man. You got it? The Hojo Clan Supreme Gate of Honor has been completed, and I highly doubt anyone will be able to get through it. I don't care how you do it, just make sure you protect it, no matter what. Trust me when I tell you, everything will be alright, I promise. I can hear it. I can hear the laughter of defeat approaching. What's the problem? Why am I angry? I'll tell you why. Why can't I be the one who wins? I want to restore the glory of the Hojo clan. After that, I want to rule all. Hit I Hey, stay away from my tree! Well, I try to, uh, plant food, good water now and then. Keeps my apricots happy. Nope, I just eat them. Although, pie does sound pretty good. So, you mean if I give you my apricots? Got a ladder? We can just pick them from your side of the fence. Mmm, 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 mmm. If I'd have known your pie was this good, I'd have given you those apricots ages ago. Say, the whole town should know about this here pie. Wait, what? There's still a rainbow festival? And now you two knuckleheads gonna let me get some sleep. You silly chimp, get away from there. It's not a toy. That'll teach ya. I don't know. No one knows all the mysteries the magical orb holds. It's a mystery why I'm still talking to you two. Now let's get some sleep. Uh, all right. But then you're out of here. Don, Scott, Vamoose. It all began with Captain Scurvy's great, great, great grandpappy. He stole the coconut, brought it to the island, na na na. Scurvy scum swindled that he was, etc., etc. He stashed it in the eye of Inca Dinka. Coconut popped out, na na na. DK found it, yada yada yada, the future ruler of Congo Bongo, the end. It beats the bananas out of me. You'll know all the secrets when Inca Dinka do thinks you're ready. Until then. I've got a little tip for you, DK. Go home and let me get some sleep! You are the saviors of Eros. We have no other hope. You offer to come to our defense, and we trust you. Go now. Take your places in the five lion robots and battle the evil Zarkon. Combined, you will become mighty Voltron, king of robots, defender of the universe. Even the double gear system can be a tool for good if used properly. But using it properly requires proper judgment. Wiley's dream of developing technology to make any robot into a hero could become reality if used by you. I'm trusting you, Mega Man. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. I've just finished giving Rush a good tune-up. He's all ready to head out with you. Rush! Rush, help Mega Man and keep him safe. Be a good boy now. You are in what you called the Middle Ages, I believe, Sir Brick. Exactly in the round table room of Castle Camelot. I hope your journey wasn't too difficult. Welcome, King Arthur. For now. I am Merlin, the wizard. I brought you here because Morgana has imprisoned King Arthur and his knights in the Cave of Glass, and no one but you can save the world from evil. Trust that I am your friend. I alone can help you find the keys of truth, which will allow you to return to your own time and world. You are here to take the place of the real King Arthur and his knights, to defend this world against the evil plans of Lord Viper and his warlords. With me, you will become the Knights of Justice. 
evil must be stopped in my world, or there shall be no future, and you will have no world of your own to return to. Let's see. Crisis in the date plantation. Classification 3B-7, subsection 23. Take action immediately. File it, Pompadour. There must be more to life than the endless grind of bureaucratic responsibility. Oh, good. You know what they say. All work and no play makes Cornelius a dull, tired, boring, bland elephant. We could pursue outside interests, recharge up the old batteries. That's why he's the king. Bradley. Bradley Uppercrust the third. <coughs> oh, yes, my right-hand man, Gamma Brother Tank. Max, we have won every College X Games competition since the beginning. And we have decided to make you... Our first draft pick. Lucky you, huh? What do you think of that? Uh, oh, hold on, pal. This reservation's only for one. Max, Max, Max. You don't want to be weighed down by those clowns, do you? I thought you wanted to win. Why, yes. As a matter of fact, they do. Gammas, fetch! Sir, I'm sorry to bother you, but I have something unusual that I must report. My man saw a strange group of men running away from Shimoda Village last night. I thought it might have something to do with the epidemic, so I came to you, Chamberlain. As you wish, sir. I just thought I'd bring it to your attention. One group will go here, along the Shirakawa River from the north. The other will go over Taro Pass from the west. You'll reach Shimoda Village in about an hour. Understand? Need I remind you, you have your own mission, don't you, Kagero? Don't forget that poison tasting is a very important responsibility. But it is too dangerous. That's enough. Where's Hikosa and the rest? Greetings! It is I, the Great Emilio, a glorious member of the prestigious Boslum Trading Company. So, why must I be knee-deep in a pickled style then? Oh, such words. Truly, it's someone such as myself. His name is Cable. An American, apparently. He was a mercenary in the leader's army. Until he found out the leader wasn't the champion of democracy he claimed to be. We're not sure, but we suspect he's a mutant. So he threw his wages back in the leader's face and took to the hills to start a revolution. New York City. Never a dull moment. Spider says, danger. Some career. No salary. No vacation. Don't talk about on-the-job health hazards. I've got to find a way to immobilize at least some of those arms. A dynamo. Dynamos make electricity by spinning a coil between the poles of either a magnet or an electromagnet. I really hate to interrupt a megalomaniac when he's on a roll, but here's web in your eyes. It was the crook from the arena. The one I should have stopped, but I didn't. I had the power and I didn't use it. I lost my uncle because I ignored my responsibilities. He always used to tell me, with great power, comes great responsibility. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the hero supposed to get the girl? I saved the city from Jungle Boy, and I'll be lucky if Mary Jane or Felicia ever speak to me again. Not to mention the fact that the Animal Kingdom walked all over my costume. Never again do I get in the middle of a lover's spat. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. Hey, these belong to you? <laughs> Listen, asswipe, I need some information. Tell me what I want to know and I'll save your miserable life. Otherwise, you can bleed to death. Now, tell me, where's the one they call the Fist of the North Star? I'm good. Real good. Why bother with the gate? I can show you more fun. Hey, hey! I'm already blind in one eye. Hold on to your pants. Pretty cool, huh? I'm afraid I'm here to claim your head. That's a cool move. Wasting your time is one thing. Wasting my time? <laughs> well, that ain't cool. Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos. Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Yeah, we came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of us! Our mission is to rescue the civilians. 
Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it.